and then the hand will actually end up uh, at some point being and I can delete all the right side stuff will actually at some point end up being compared to here to the wrist. Uh, I do know that you need full IK chains. So this hand orientation is not important. And here's where we get into some tricky stuff with uh, orienting these suckers. So I'm just gonna start off with uh, skeleton orient joints, not orient world. Uh, and I'll just do children for now. And so I'm going to run this because I think it's going to do, um, let's see. Well, if I want these to be similar, it's a weird, uh, to that, these are all very strange. Let's see. And I wonder if it has to do with them being parented here, but it's okay, because I'm going to end up changing these all. So I'm still going down my x-axis here, but let's just see what happens here. I wonder if I have to negative this. That might be closer to it. Because I want, what I'm going to actually want is y pointing down. Actually, it's going to go this way. And this is a better test of where I want this going. Um, so if I kind of look here at these, I'm going to, I don't know that this is a hundred percent necessary, but, uh, other than that X, I'm going to keep these at zeros, just kind of, uh, wait, not this, right? I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to have Y be the only thing that moves here. So I'm going to do these at zero. And these would probably be a good script to do also. And let's do this at zero. Okay, so that's going to take me way off of where that is, but the other thing I should have done before I do that is kind of the way I want this, right? This elbow, so this is the Z, is this way, and that's what I want here. I want this Z to be kind of top down, so this is a free plugin I found, uh, the GM Orient tool and this does a great job so I want to tweak the X and I want to tweak it negative so I'm just gonna add do it by one and just click on this a bunch and what that's gonna do is give me like kind of the orientation here that I want so I've got the Y pointing down just like here the Z pointing back Uh, and this is going to give me kind of the, the thing that I want. So I'm going to actually then, so this, this will actually give me like a straight on finger down the, down the line. Uh, so what I could do here is just kind of try to line it up maybe a little better this way. Maybe move it out a bit here here we get a little better rotation uh, i don't think that it has to be i mean it's not an ik fk rotate plane solver chain with a pole vector that you would need this but i'm going to try to uh, and this is all just trying to figure out what's going to be you know best for the deformations and best controls for. Uh, and one of the ways to keep it is I'm going to be doing is doing this scale X. I should start down here though. Pull that back, rotate that up. Actually, I might push this up. 
and then rotate it down. And, you know, that's looking pretty decent, I think. Uh, could be a little closer, so I think this one I can scale. And so the axes don't change. Uh, this one I can probably, so maybe I'll scale in. This one maybe I'll scale in. Maybe I can take that up a bit. There, I got kind of an interesting curve finger. Let me move that up. So I just, just want to give it, have it follow as much as I can and make it just kind of as simple and straightforward as I can. And this joint here is going to just help when we spread the fingers. Uh, it's just going to be there like a little bit. Um, no, not that. So that should be, you know, straight down the bone there from the top and bang, bang boom. Uh, and so the other thing I can do, let's see, I can try orient. Oh, Ooh, I didn't want that to happen. Why did that move? It should not have moved. Oh, because the joints are not frozen. So let's freeze transforms there. Now I can orient correctly. And just for, I don't know. I don't, I like, I think you, this, this one doesn't really matter, but it just looks nicer to me. And if it's, you know, if it doesn't matter, I guess I just, I do prefer it to be that way. So this one, we want to do the same. So I want it like that. There we go. So that's actually not bad. Here. Uh, and then I want this to be, again, straight. So this tool is actually better, even just generally speaking, than the normal Orient tool. Uh, and then I just want to try to do the same thing I think I did before with this. And I'm just getting a little I don't think I have to select hierarchy there, but still gonna do that freeze transforms. Uh, so that should be good. That's zero, all zero, zero, and orient. So that's all zeros. Right, let's orient here. Yeah, look at that. Freeze transforms, babies. Yeah, we did. It's weird. Okay. Let's just move this over here. Orient, 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 and then here, we're just going to go back and do the zeros. Shift tab to go back. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero. And that should all be zeros. All good. Uh, let's see, I'm going to bring this down. You bring this up, freeze the transforms, right? And then it should be frozen. Still oriented. Nope. I want that to be zero. And this is just where you have to spend a lot of time checking, double checking. Uh, Cause I really have messed myself up getting into building control rigs 